This video is sponsored by Netmarble. Lineage 2 Revolution is a brand new mobile MMORPG that I've covered in a first look video in the past, but in case you haven't heard of it before, this game was made in Unreal Engine 4 and features the best graphics I've ever seen in a mobile game. Within the first 50 days of release, Lineage 2 Revolution managed to clear over 5 million downloads. The thing I like about this game is every time you log in you feel like there's a lot of stuff to do, there's lots of dailies, login rewards, and many avenues of progression that keep you coming back every day. Aside from that, the game has an open world, a fully voice acted main quest line with cutscenes and a rich story, as well as a large variety of content such as solo dungeons, group dungeons, arena PvP and real time large scale PvP in the form of open sieges and fortress sieges, which is what we'll mostly be talking about today. First off, let's talk about Open Siege, a new piece of content that was added to the game on the 13th of December 2017. The whole idea behind Open Sieges is that it's high highly accessible fun content that's available to everyone early into the game. To unlock open sieges you simply need to reach level 11 which doesn't take very long at all. Now you may be thinking, if I join this at level 11 I'm just going to die to higher level and more geared players, and this is where you'd be wrong. Open Siege actually scales everyone to max level and puts players on an even playing field when it comes to gear. On top of that another cool feature Open Siege has is that you're allowed to change race and class combos during the battle allowing you to try out new and different playstyles without having to level up a brand new character from scratch. So how do you enter an open siege? First off you need to get your character to level 11, after that click on the options menu followed by battlefield. Here you'll have the choice to enter an arena, open siege, a fortress siege or a castle siege. Click open siege. From here you can see how long until the next open siege starts, the rewards for participation and your previous battle records. The times when open siege occurs will be different depending on the server you play on. Upon entering the siege you'll start out either on on the blue team or the red team. You'll spawn inside your base and won't be allowed to leave until the siege starts. If you tap on your map, an overview of the area you're fighting in will pop up. The open siege area is symmetrical and you can identify the points of interest based on the icons that are shown. First, let's talk about the win condition of open siege. Each team has their own structure known as the holy artifact. The team that wins the siege will be the one that imprints the enemy team's holy artifact first. In open siege, any player can do this. Imprinting the holy artifact takes about 10 seconds, so defenders will need to do everything they can to interrupt the attackers. Protecting the holy artifacts will be several defense towers. These will do very big damage to players in range of them, so you'll need to coordinate as a team and push these towers together. It's best to send in the tanks first, then have your DPS and healers in the back line doing what they do best from a safe distance. Before you can even get to the holy artifact, however, you'll have to break through the enemy team's outer gate once you've taken out the two defense towers protecting them. On each side of the map you can also find altars. Securing these will give your team a 10% damage buff for 3 minutes. Securing both at the same time will give you a massive 30% buff, which makes pushing for towers and the enemy artifact much easier. The final point of interest to know about lies at the very center of the map and is called the Spring of Recovery. You and your team can use this to heal and stay in the action for longer. Two big pieces of advice before joining an open siege. Number one, don't run at the enemy team alone. You'll get overwhelmed and die very quickly. Make sure to position yourself in a way that suits your class whilst sticking with your team. Two, don't use auto battle mode. You'll perform much better controlling your character manually as you can dodge enemy AoE, heal at the most important times, have better positioning and use your abilities to crowd control enemies before they escape. Currently the main rewards for winning an open siege are boxes which contain a lot of Adena, the main currency you use for upgrading gear, as well as a War Heroes Honor Points potion. But with all of that said, let's jump into our first open siege. So to enter an open siege we click the options menu followed by battlefield and then open siege. Available entry count 1, so I think I can only do it once. Here it's given me the choice between human, elf, dark elf, dwarf, as well as a bunch of different subclasses. I think I want to be a Hawkeye, because range classes are usually pretty good in large scale PvP so let's go with this option actually it gives me the chance to change skill settings 
So that's cool. I think I'm just going to go with the default though. Enter Open Siege. So after you've done that, it starts matching. Cool. So as you can see, my combat power has been boosted to 376,595. That's a lot stronger than what I'm used to, that's for sure. I've got four minutes, 30 seconds of prep time. Then I guess the gates will open and it will start. I've also got four buffs. Seem quite powerful. So I'm on red team and there's a lot of players spawning in. I can interact with this. Go to change class. So I can do this in the middle of a siege and just change class whenever I want to. Let's click on the map. And as you can see, we've got an overview of all of the objectives here. There's actually player collision with my teammates. I've never noticed this before. Let's go. Let's do this. Start. Nice. Okay, so now we can run through these gates. There's a lot going on indeed. Let's go over here. We've got some enemies. Big damage. Let's help my team. Oh no, we're taking... We're getting destroyed! Someone healed me though, that was nice. That was a very nice heal. Kill this person. We're doing ranged attack. No, 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 no. We run, we run. I've got 4,000 health left. Let's go to the healing well in the middle of the map. Just standing near it heals you by quite a lot. This seems like a good place to control. Oh no, I've been knocked down. I'm almost... I'm dead. Rest in peace. I'm going to use this potion thing called a soul shot. Because it makes my attacks a lot stronger. Here we go. Big damage. Big damage. I think we're getting some kills. I think we're helping. We're also taking a lot of damage. Let's run away a little bit. Someone's running at me. We're picking up kills. We're helping out the team. Nice. It seems like there's a five second cooldown per respawn. The blue team definitely seems to have the edge at the moment. Oh nice, we got the knockdown. This person's getting killed. Beautiful. Now let's push the enemy tower together. Let's go guys. We're automatically attacking this tower. As you can see it has 10,000 health. I need to keep an eye on my health and back off when those things start attacking me. We need to push together. Nice, we got a double knockdown. We're going in for some big damage. Let's pop the ulti. Pop this ability. And we're going to kite back. Let's try going with my original class, the Warlord. Big damage on this guy. Let's finish him off. Die, dude. We need to run away from this. Ouch. We just got exploded by a meteor. It seems as though the longer Open Siege goes on, the higher the respawn timer gets. Okay, I can change class again. Let's be... I think a sorcerer sounds good. Big damage. I need to heal. I need to... Here we go. Big damage. Nice. I think I just got myself a kill. We're going to run away. Try and get our health back. And then we're going to go back in. Okay. We've tried the sorceress. So I think it's time to try something else. Maybe a bishop would be good. This sounds like a healing class. Okay. Nice. We're doing big damage on this person. We've actually got them to half health. Nice, we actually got a kill, I think. Let's use this ability. I'm getting knocked down. We need to run. Yeah, this uh, bishop character is working out a lot better for me. I feel a lot more useful to my team. We've actually lost our top gate, so that's not good. Blue team's clearly a lot stronger and more coordinated. Let's get some kills. We're going to stay safely within the range of our towers. Oh, we're getting knocked down by the rangers. We've lost one of our main defense towers. I don't think we're going to last much longer at this rate. The blue team started to imprint the artifact. I think it's all over for us. This is where we make our stand. Oh, they're coming through the gates. Run. Turn. Attack. 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 Run back. I'm getting kills. I'm helping. I think I'm helping. Okay, it seems like my team's finally starting to pay attention to what's going on. Now we've got a 20-second respawn timer. So it definitely starts to ramp up. I'm going to position myself here. I've got a big ability here. I've got a big cooldown here. Nice. We're getting those kills. There's only one minute left in the open siege. We need to hold on. Hold the door. If I can position myself well, we might be okay. We still have one defense tower up, luckily for us. So it actually ended in a tie, even though blue team were definitely the strongest. At the end, a little cutscene pops up and it says draw. Okay, so I was rank 8 on my team, so I wasn't the worst. 18 kills, 38 deaths. 
A score of 69. Sounds good to me. And we've also got some rewards. 50,000 Adina. That's a lot. Here it is. Here's the spoils of war. But yeah, that was my first attempt at an open siege. I did a little bit better than I thought. Obviously, I would do a lot better if I was playing on my mobile phone because that's what the controls are designed for. For recording purposes, I'm playing via an emulator at the moment, so it's really hard to play with my mouse. It'd be a lot easier if I was just using my two thumbs. So now we've had some fun in Open Siege, you're probably wondering what's different about Fortress Siege. Unlike Open Siege, which is 30 vs 30, Fortress Siege is a 50 vs 50 guild vs guild mode in which the winner will own a fortress at the end of it. There's multiple fortresses that can be fought over, each of which grants the winning guild a special buff which lasts as long as they own that fortress. For a guild to participate in a fortress siege, they'll need to place a bid on the fortress they want to fight over. The two guilds with the highest bids for any specific fortress will then do battle. Fortress sieges occur either Thursday or Friday, depending on the server you play on, and last for a total of 30 minutes. Unlike open siege, where any player can imprint the holy artifact, in a fortress siege, only the guild leader can imprint it. Another difference with fortress siege is that your gear and level has more of an impact as it doesn't scale. You also can't change classes or roles mid-fight. The whole idea of Fortress Siege is for guilds to battle it out to see who's the strongest. When it comes to the rewards for this content, the winning guild will receive a Fortress buff, an exclusive title, a shop, and in-game currency. But to wrap this video up, Lineage 2 Revolution has the most PvP content I've ever seen in a mobile game. There's something for everyone. You have daily arenas, open world PvP if you decide to opt into it, open Siege which is highly accessible and puts everyone on an even playing field and Fortress Siege for the more hardcore players that are in competitive PvP guilds and on top of that we're going to see even more large scale PvP added to the game soon with Castle Sieges. If you're interested in Lineage 2 Revolution feel free to click the link in the description below to check it out and once again shout out to Netmarble for sponsoring this video but that's it from me thanks for watching I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you again really soon.